we built the whole company on the conservative values. That's what I'm saying. The conservative ideology has two of the most critical attributes, truth and God, truth and you. If you run your life on principles and you're truthful and factual well, okay. and you have win-win mutual respect and you're thoughtful and you're considerate, you're going to win. And the former CEO of Papa John's Pizza had a lot to say at CPAC in Dallas, and you would not believe the nonsense. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. The Conservative Political Action Conference, better known as CPAC, brought out the big guns in Dallas. Among them was John Schnatner, who, if you recall, was CEO of Papa John's Pizza until his racism jumped out during a company conference call. As you may have guessed, Schnatner is just as much as a snowflake as his conservative counterparts, which is what seemed to have enticed him to get involved in CPAC. Well, we were kind of the genesis of cancel culture and um, the energy at CPAC and the positive, you know, the folks here, the reason I like conservative folks is they're problem solvers. Right. The other side seems to always be the victim or feeling sorry or creating barriers or negativity. So the energy here at CPAC and the positive I can do and can do attitude is infectious. Nothing says I have an aversion to accountability like proclaiming to be the father of cancel culture. Really, John? Aggressively using the N-word during a work call, uh, you know, and being voted out by your board, that would sound like consequences. Really, it does. And of course, John, I'll call him, will never own up. He maintains that the company has gone downhill since his departure. Losing customers. I think the traffic counts less than it was when I was there six years ago. Over 40% of the stores are losing money. Wow. We uh, we won uh, ASCI, uh, the highest quality in the pizza category, 18 out of 19 years. They now are down with Little Caesars. So the thing has really got away from Dang, them. I hate they, Little Caesars, yeah. so that's... That's tough. But I, I feel I got so many people I love that are franchisees and they really did well during COVID, but they've lost their way. That makes sense, and, yeah. um, you know, if you don't have that quality, you don't have that service and you don't have that culture, uh, you're asking for, you know, a, a bad day at the office. What culture is that, do you think? Is it one in which racial slurs run rampant or does the racism happen to enhance the flavor of the pizza? I am dying to know. I'm also dying to know what the five entities controlling our world are because John didn't explain. So there's five entities that really control media, academia, and everything else. Um, it's those five evil entities. And you can always tell when they're active um, and what they're doing. Um, we may never know because, again, he didn't enlighten us to his conspiracy theory. Rather, he continued to ramble on with his nonsense, which is par for the course, for CPAC speakers, truly special people. So would you say that Mr. Schnatner is simply a less high Mike Lindell? I think that could be a fair assessment. But you let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.